How's it going guys? Chronic Rush here and welcome back to my FIFA 15 Strongest Squad series where I'm going to be able to squad for every single major European league in FIFA 15, show you guys the strongest squad and then play a game and see if strength actually works in FIFA 15, if it is a good thing and if you can use it to counteract some pace. But uh, we've already done majority of the major European leagues. This is, I think, the last one, the Set It At. We're going to be building today. We've already done the BPL, the Bundesliga, and the Liga BBVA, and the French League Un. And probably the BPL has probably been the strongest team so far in terms of the high-rated cards and the best team to play with. We've picked up our first loss. We've picked up two wins, a draw, and a loss. The loss being in the French League Un squad, just due to the fact that uh, the squad we came up against was unbelievably good and cost so much. Go and check out the episode to see that squad it was quite an impressive game to be fair I expected to get absolutely annihilated by him but today like I said we've got the strongest set it ass squad in FIFA 15 and um, it's got quite a solid average strength rating throughout the squad um, and let's get straight into it so we're going to start off with the formation it's going to be the 4 one 2 one 2 second version we've used this formation before and it just works due to the fact there is a couple good centre mids with good high strength ratings to put into the team so we're going to start off with the goalkeeper and it's going to be this player here probably one of the weaker players of the team Carnesis I think it is played at Udinese and he's got around 79 strength not really high strength compared to some of the other keepers I've used in this series but still the strongest keeper in the Serie A and that's why he's got his place in the team moving on to the right back we have this player here Mikhail Richards Florentino man recently transferred from Man City obviously and uh, he has got around 88 strength which um, is pretty solid to be fair for a right back Moving on to the centre-backs here. The first player over here is going to be this play here, Siani. Plays for Lazio and he's going to come in at 93 strength, joint highest in this team. His partner is going to be this player here, Calabole at the back. I've used him before, very, very good, strong player coming in with 93 strength as well. And moving on to the final player in the defence, we have this player here, Holibas. Roma player, very, very good player in FIFA, and he has 79 strength. I believe he is joint lowest, um, and 79 strength still for a left-back isn't too bad, but in compar comparison with the rest of the team, it is probably looking quite low. Moving on to the CDM, we have this player here from Florentina Kurtic, and um, he has around, I think it is 90 strength, which isn't too bad. Moving on to this first centre mid, we have this player here, Freddy Guarin, and uh, the Colombian here, he has a very, very good strength rating for his size, I think. He's not too tall, um, but uh, he has 88 strength. Moving on to the other centre mid, we have this player here, Yasmin Kukic, I think it is. Uh, Kuka, sorry. Um, and um, he has around 90 strength. And moving on to the final player, should I say, in the midfield, we have this player here in the cam spot. Paul Pogba, and um, normally as a centre mid, I moved him up to the cam spot. 83 rated player, very, very good card in FIFA. Um, more of a cam, should I say, in terms of his work race and stuff like that. Um, but um, he's got a very, very good solid strength of 90 strength as well. Also got an inform card of 92 strength. Moving on to the final players of the team, the strikers. Both of these players have 93 strength up top, which is pretty solid. The first player here is going to be this player here, Luca Toni. Um, and um, this guy is pretty slow for a striker, 34 pace. That's not going to be too good up top. Uh, but like I said, he does have 93 strength. And moving on to the final player of the strongest Sell It A squad in FIFA 15, it's going to be this player here, Laurente. For Juventus up top, and like I said, again, he has 93 strength. Shame about the pace as well, 60 pace. That's going to be quite hard to play with as well. But guys, that is the strongest Set It Out squad in FIFA 15, as you can see on the screen there. And um, I th I'm not too sure the average. I think it has got to be around at least 89, 90. Uh, we've got some very, very good strong players across the board. Um, two 93 rated strikers uh, with strength, and then two 93 strength centre-backs as well. And then we've got a quite good solid midfield as well, to be fair. This team is probably looking quite solid. Um, the up front is going to be quite hard to play with just due to the lack of pace and maybe Siani as well. But uh, guys, that is the squad for the strongest set it as squad. Make sure you stay tuned right towards the end of the episode because we're going to be moving into a game with the squad. So guys, I'll speak to you in a bit. So it's time to move into a game with the strongest Set It Out squad and I'm not too sure how this team is going to perform uh, due to the fact that uh, there's got a couple of really, really good players in that team and uh, we've got a good number of good gold rare cards and it, it could go either way. It could be a good good team or it could be bad in the terms that we don't have a lot of pace. Um, I think our fastest player is going to be Holibas, our left back 
and I think that's probably about it in terms of pace. Uh, Color Bully is not too bad, pacey at the back. Um, the only problem I think is going to be the fact we don't have a lot of pacey strikers. And coming at five at the back, Bun um, Bayern team there with Robin Ribery, Lewandowski, uh, Neuer in goal. That's going to be a very, very hard team to break down. Um, but um, I like a challenge and let's see how this team performs against the team we've just seen. Oh no, that's a fantastic ball. 1-0 down already in the third minute. He, he, I, I didn't even have a touch of the ball since that kickoff. He got kickoff, played it around, and then my defence just opened up like a... F look at that. that. It just opened up like the freaking Red Sea there. And we've seen that over the top ball. That's a touch from Lorente. Can we finish that? Oh, that's a save from Manuel Neuer. Can we see over the top ball? I've seen that run. How's was the touch? That's a good touch. Where's the finish? There's the finish! Who was that? I think that may have been Paul Pogba. I'm not too sure. Held off his player quite well there. And I thought I'd wasted the opportunity. I thought I'd took too long to shoot. Um, shoot. But uh, it got around Manuel Neuer. And put that in the back end there. There you go. 1-1. One, one. Paul Pogba putting that in the back end there. And um, I was pretty happy. The strong players seen any over the top ball. They just seem to be able to win it against the centre-backs. And uh, we kind of got a bit lucky for that ball to fall in his path. Uh, but that's in the back end there. And I'm not going to complain. That makes it 1-1. One, one. Is Manuel Neuer getting there? Yes! He's balls up! <laughs> Manuel Neuer, I just read that pass, it was going to happen. He's been playing it around the back for ages. Pretty much what Bayern do, he's just been holding possession. And the ball went to Neuer and I knew that he was going to try and pass it out and just read it completely. Nearest player, ran there, intercepted it and open goal there. Luca Toni putting that to the back and let's go and make that 2-1. Pretty happy about that, I read him like a book and that makes it 2-1. And let's get going boys. No, he's through, he's through with Robin. I've got no chance catching up. I just have to my keeper. Oh, I thought it came off the post and missed, but Robin goes and makes it 2-2 two -two there. As soon, they're, they're playing so high, Robin, River and Lewandowski. They're literally playing on the back. All three of them playing on the back of my defence. As soon as one ball goes through the middle, it's normally either Robin or Ribery are just on that every time. And they're going to score nine times out of ten with a finesse shot. Um, I, I, what was I expecting there? I really should have done a lot better with the defending. Uh, but still 2-2. I'm not going to complain. Let's keep on going and see if we can get a goal back just before half time. Okay, guys. So that is half time. 2-2. And um, as you can see, in terms of him, he's had a lot more possession. He's been playing it around the back. He's basically been trying to play Bar um, sorry, Bayern Munich-style football in the sense he's just been holding possession for so long and then waiting for the right opportunity. Um, but I've been having some of the better shots on target. So the game's still on, 2-2. Um, we've still got time to be able to get a goal. And um, I think it's going to be quite an interesting second half. So uh, let's get straight into it. And now it is. We just get absolutely broke on. Here we go. Oh, I needed that tackle come through. Holy bass, keep him out there. Come on. Where's the pace? No. Woo. Oh, Alba's committed. Oh. No. No, off the post. No. 87th minute, we just hit it off the post. We had so many chances to shoot there. There you go, guys. So, a 2-2 draw at the end of the game. And, um, I mean, the team I came up against, five at the back is extremely hard to break down, especially when you don't have any pace up top at all. Tony was absolutely shocking. Um, I would not even recommend going near him. 34 pace on a striker is pretty terrible. But he didn't seem to have anything going for him at all. Um, so, that was quite a hard game to play, to be fair. Um, he did have the likes of Ribery and Robin who were just blitzing my defence, as you can see there. Um, I haven't got a slow defence, but still, Robin was just going absolutely mental around Holobas and stuff. Uh, so it's quite a hard game overall, but um, I'm pretty happy with a 2-2 draw. I'm not going to complain, as you can have a look at the stats. I probably just could have deserved it. I so nearly got an, the goal right towards the end of the game, coming off the post. We had so many chances to get that into the back of the net, and we just didn't take them. But uh, six shots on target, doubled his amount, and had more possession, and the score... Final score of 2-2, so I'm pretty annoyed about that game. I probably should have gone out and won it eventually, um, but um, still, good performance from the team. Um, the only thing I would probably change about the team overall was the fact that the strikers, I just felt Tony was absolutely shocking, and I felt like there was runs Paul Pogba was making 
that Tony should have been making um, like a long, long time before Pogba was making them. I just didn't have any threat up top at all. And it's quite a hard game to play, um, especially with five at the back with one strike and not really wanting to do anything other than playing basically as a cam. Uh, but guys, this comes to the end of this Strongest Selly episode, guys. Remember, if you like, so remember to hit that like button. Also, remember to subscribe. Stay tuned to the series. And make sure you stay tuned because we're going to have the strongest team on FIFA 15 coming out shortly. And we're going to play with it and see how that team performs. But guys, this has been Crush, And until next time, adios. <laughs>